Hi, welcome to Heal Richest. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 countries to live in the world 2021. So before starting this video make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel to join our family. Beyond the essential ideas of broad access to food and housing, to quality education and healthcare, to employment that will sustain us, quality of life may also include intangibles such as job security, political stability, individual freedom and environmental quality. What social scientists do agree on is that material wealth, is not the most important factor in assessing a life lived well. The results of the quality of life sub-ranking survey reflect that sensibility. The 2021 Best Countries Rankings, formed in partnership with BAV Group and the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania, are based on a study that surveyed more than 17,000 global citizens from four regions to assess perceptions of 78 countries on 76 different metrics. The quality of life subranking is based on an equally weighted average of scores from nine country attributes that relate to quality of life in a country affordable, a good job market, economically stable, family-friendly, income equality, politically stable, safe, well-developed public education system and well-developed public health system. The quality of life subranking score had a 13.88% weight in the overall best countries ranking. Countries perceived to provide a lower quality of life perform most, poorly in areas concerning personal safety and economic opportunity. Iraq, Lebanon and Uzbekistan are at the bottom of the quality of life ranking, followed by El Salvador, Serbia and Azerbaijan. The Dominican Republic, which ranks 53rd for quality of life, finishes last for its public education system, while Colombia, 60th for quality of life, places last for safety. The United States ranks number 20, down five spots from last year, by survey respondents for providing a good quality of life even though it placed number four. For its job market, the country placed number 51 for affordability. Number 10. New Zealand. British and Polynesian influences course through picturesque New Zealand, an island nation in the Pacific Ocean southeast of Australia. Early Maori settlers ceded sovereignty to British invaders with the Treaty of Waitangi in 1840, and European settlers flooded in. Today, 70% of Kiwis, a common term for the people of New Zealand, after a native flightless bird, are of European descent. A sense of pride has surged among the Maori, the country's first settlers who now account for about 14%, as homeland grievances become more openly addressed. This island country is located in the Southern Hemisphere, and comprises two main divisions namely the North Island and South Island respectively. With over 4 million residents, the nation has been tagged as a favorite by many people across the globe. Be it the natural landscapes, high-quality education, healthcare, opportunities, or governance, New Zealand never ceases to amaze its citizens. While the country has seen massive growth over the years, its key takeaway lies in the peacemaking and global security areas, making it citizen-friendly. Number 9. Germany. Germany, the most popular nation in the European Union, possesses one of the largest economies in the world and has seen its role in the international community grow steadily since reunification. The Central European country borders nine nations, and its landscape varies, from the northern plains that reach, to the North and Baltic seas to the Bavarian Alps in the south. Something that stands out a lot about Germany is that the country places an emphasis on education. Much like Australia, Germany values the education of its citizens. Nearly the entire population of Germany has received higher education, with only 4% of people in Germany having not endured college classes or postgraduate schooling. Number 6. Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a major international financial center with a high quality of life. Hong Kong has very low taxes, the highest income tax at 17%, making it attractive for businessmen. Additionally, like many of the other countries on this list, Hong Kong has very low crime rates despite being a very densely populated urban area. 
Many believe that Hong Kong is the perfect blend of East and West cultures with colonial buildings, temples, and ancient traditions and festivals living side by side with modern public transportation and tall glass skyscrapers. Number 7. Netherlands. Situated along the fringes of Western Europe, the Netherlands is a coastal lowland freckled with windmills, characteristic of its development around the water. Three major European rivers, the Rhine, Meuse and Scheldt, run through neighbors Germany and Belgium into the nation's busy ports. Synonymous with tulips, windmills, and the European rivers, the nation is also helmed as one of the best for citizenship. With a total population of over 16 million people, the citizens here enjoy an array of social services like education and healthcare. Apart from the major attractions that let tourists pour in great numbers, it is the well-governed and corruption-free society that has people rooting for the citizenship of the country. Number 6. Australia, as the third best country to live in according to the Human Development Report, Australia is praised by the United Nations for its emphasis on education and the importance of going to school. There is a healthy level of pressure to not only attend school, but to perform exceptionally and take pride in academic marks. The average number of years that Australians attend school for is roughly 20 years old, meaning most Australian children remain enrolled in the education system until they graduate from an undergraduate college. As with every situation, there are exceptions, but the education in Australia accounts for more than 5% of the country's GDP, so that's something for which Australia deserves to be recognized. Number 5. Switzerland. Switzerland, officially called the Swiss Federation, is a small country in Central Europe made up of 16,000 square miles of glacier-carved Alps, lakes and valleys. It's one of the world's wealthiest countries and has been well known for centuries for its neutrality. Number 4. Norway. The Kingdom of Norway is the westernmost country in the Scandinavian peninsula, made up mostly of mountainous terrain. Nearly all of its population lives in the south, surrounding the capital, Oslo. Norway's coastline is made up of thousands of miles of fjords, bays and island shores. The Norwegians developed a maritime culture and were active throughout the Viking era, establishing settlements in Iceland and Greenland. Number 3. Sweden. The Kingdom of Sweden, flanked by Norway to the west and the Baltic Sea to the east, expands across much of the Scandinavian peninsula and is one of the largest countries in the European Union by landmass. Capital city Stockholm was claimed in the 16th century, and border disputes through the Middle Ages established the modern-day nation. The European country measures above the rest of the world, in the Better Life Index thus making it a winner for the citizens. If you are living in Sweden you can have a better quality of life, strong infrastructure, gender equality, the best healthcare, education, and equal distribution of human rights. In general, a citizen of the nation has a higher living standard, with absolutely no discrimination on color, race, and religion. Number 2. Singapore. Singapore earned the title of being the fifth best country to live in, alongside the European country of Denmark. Even though the two countries are on an even playing field, Singapore still holds the sixth line of the list of best countries to call home. Singapore received high levels of recognition from the UN especially, because of the country's life expectancy rates and the overall attention paid to the healthcare system. Number 1. Canada. Canada takes up about two-fifths of the North American continent, making it the second largest country in the world after Russia. The country is sparsely populated, with most of its 35.5 million residents living within 125 miles of the U.S. border. Canada's expansive wilderness to the north plays a large role in Canadian identity, as does the country's reputation of welcoming immigrants. Dot. As one of the richest countries in the world, Canada offers a high standard of living to all its citizens due to a decrease in taxes. The country also receives accolades for having a good government, a high degree of individual freedom along with a low unemployment rate and high career growth options, making it one of the ideal countries to lead life. Comment below and let us know which is your favorite country. If this video was helpful, please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.